guys, it's John here with Greenfish Nation. I want to thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to be talking about an open face, our underspin, our spin cast reel, uh, whatever you guys call it. This is what we're going to be uh, approaching uh, today, the subject. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to properly use this reel, how to properly spool your line on it where you don't get twist tangles and knots. Also, how to properly retrieve that reel. So you guys stay tuned to Greenfish Nation, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to spool the line on to this reel. So if you look, when you turn this handle, the reel turns counterclockwise uh, if you're facing away from it. So you want to make sure that your line comes off of the spool the same way, okay? So generally the way line is, is rolled on, if you face this label toward you, you're going to come off counterclockwise. Uh, this is a little harder to spool than the, uh, the bait caster that we talked about but I'll show you how I do it. I'll show you a couple of uh, little tricks uh, that I use here on the boat. You guys can see I've got this boat seat here. It's got a little handle. First, I wanna talk about your knot. One of the most common mistakes that people make here is they take this and they just tie it on there. Well, you should always flip the bell open first, okay? So we're gonna get our knot tied on there and then we're gonna spool this thing up. All right, guys, I do this one the same way. Simple little slip knot. I bring it down and I snug it up tight. I'm gonna snip the tag end off. And then I'm gonna do the, the, the spool around like I showed you on the bait caster. You wanna go opposite each time. Well, that one slipped off. So we're gonna go this way. And then once more, this away, okay? Now this is real important. Get you guys back up here. It's real important you wanna hold some tension on your line as you reel and watch your line and make sure it comes off even and you'll be successful. Guys, as you're spooling your line on here like so, every once in a while if you'll just stop and look at your spool, if your line lays limp and it's not trying to twist or anything, you're doing this right, okay? If it's twisting up and trying to tie knots in itself, you might want to rethink what you're doing because you're probably going backwards and you're headed for a lot of heartache, okay? So I'm gonna get this finished spooled up here and show you guys what it looks like finished. And then we'll talk about some of the mechanics of it. All right, guys, when you're putting your line through all your eyes, take, take time and make sure that you're actually going through the eye Especially on these spinning rods, they have a lot of a lot of uh, braces and stuff on the eyelets. Make sure you're going through the ceramic part of the eyelet. And make sure you're not twisting your line up or anything like that. You need to do everything you can to have an opportunity to catch a fish of a lifetime. So you want to make sure everything is done right. Now here you'll see that on the bottom right there, there's a little line keeper. That's so you can change spools out if you've got several spools. I always put that in there when I'm spooling up my line and that way I don't get slack in my line. So let's get a bait tied on this thing and then we'll talk about how it works. All right guys, we got our line on our reel properly. We've tied on a little 1 8 ounce uh, Ned rig here that's what i'll be using this rod for i wanted to go over with you guys how this thing works so obviously this is your reel handle that you'll 
throw out and crank. So when you uh, get ready to cast this, you need to get your finger out here and catch your line. Catch your line and just pull it up. I like to catch mine right, kind of on the end. And then you'll flip this bale up and that's what keeps your line from unspooling, okay? And then you'll make your cast. Let me get this untangled here. You'll make your cast. And as you cast, you're gonna let this finger go, okay? And let your line out. Now, a lot of people make a mistake right here. They just start reeling. That's not what you wanna do. You wanna get in the habit of reaching down and flipping this bell closed. And then you wanna put a little tension on your line and just turn your reel, okay? That's gonna come right back to you. Line uh, slack is not your friend with this reel. It will cause you a world of heartache, okay? I like to get that thing rolled up to about, oh, about right there before I cast it. That's about 12 inches. And then you make your cast and you flip it over. And as soon as that thing hits the water, you let it sink to your desired depth. Flip that bell by hand, a little pressure on your line, and roll it up and you won't have any problems. And one feature that this reel has, uh, most of these uh, underspin reels have this feature. If you look right here on the front of the reel, Right here, there's a little switch. You can switch that back and forth. You switch it off. You can actually, I'll back up here so you can see. You can actually turn your reel and let your lure down. But this can cause you a world of heartache too. If you don't pay attention. You flip it back the other way and it's got anti-reverse on it, okay? A lot of guys that are real experienced with fishing with these, they'll keep that thing flipped open all the time and if they get a good fish, especially some of the smallmouth fishermen, they'll play that fish with that reel and they've had great success with that. But guys, I wanna thank you today for joining us for open face, underspin, uh, ultra lights, whatever you guys wanna call them. I want to thank you for joining us today and talking about this. I hope you got something from today's video. Uh, if you want to drop us a comment down at the bottom and let us know if there's anything else you need to know about these reels, I'd be more than glad to answer those questions for you. I appreciate you tuning in to us. If you haven't already, if you'd subscribe to our channel, we'd appreciate that. Tell somebody about us. Give us the old thumbs up if you liked our content. Tight lines, guys. Take a kid fishing if you get a chance. John Suits here with Greenfish Nation.